So team, keep it clean. As you can see, we are back at the crib. I, I just want to say I appreciate y'all again. Uh, everybody that we got a chance to meet, got a chance to talk to. Uh, something that I was telling my wife yesterday, that it, it, a lot of times, I, I love talking football, of course. Y'all know that already. But some of my favorite conversations that I had with some people this past trip were just talking about life. Like one of my guys, he was showing me his man cave and showing me all this crazy raving stuff. The dude got like five big screen TVs in there. Um, and he, uh, But he, he was telling me how proud he was of his one year old because he got a one-year-old and something like that that was just really really special to me i talked to my guy uh, at dng reserve uh from atlanta and he was just telling me part of his life story about him dropping out of school and moving to atlanta to pursue music and it was just it was just nice to hear about that uh and then some more people that i talked to the tailgate at the tailgate i mean they, they just telling me about everything going on and how 2020 was just a really tough year for them Cause i know 2020 was a tough year for a lot of people because it was just so different but i just appreciate it hearing people's their stories and just talking life in general uh one of my favorites was talking to uh the kid gowie talking to his dad and whatnot because uh, he is super cool both of them super cool i see where gowie get it from now um and then uh my, my guy kevin our striker just talking to him and his girl uh just about stuff in general talking to my guy simply y'all know simply with as10 who makes every single highlight video of every single player just talking to him about life and talking to him about cruises so it's just it was very very uh, uh, just such a great experience baltimore is always a great experience and i, I love y'all and i really really appreciate everything that y'all do every single day with y'all supporting every single day so thank you don't change how y'all are well you know what you can change if you can get even better than y'all already are i know it's gonna be hard to top that but if y'all can get even better then just know i i, I love y'all man I, I i really do so shout out to you um now ravens um of course, we got some very, very bad news that the night that Mark Andrews went out of the game uh, this past Thursday night. And see, it was confusing, though, because initially when Mark Andrews went down, um, I thought it was like ACL or Achilles. I, I thought it was, Ooh, that, that doesn't look good. But then he got up. He got up and he was even fighting the trainers off. Of him. Get off me. And we all cheering and clapping like, OK, yeah, there go Mark. And why I did not expect him to return to the game, because I'm like, all right, that don't rush him. If he maybe he'd be straight in the long term, but you ain't got to rush him back this game. Let him just chill. Let Isaiah likely go and do that thing. But he obviously didn't come back in the game, and then they declared him out. Uh, but then Harbaugh, Harbaugh, who is somebody that uh, usually likes to sh <coughs> sugarcoat injuries, uh, he said that it's likely that Mark Andrews misses the rest of the season. And it was like, oof. If it's Harbaugh saying that, somebody who holds back information on injuries. That can't be good. Uh, so then um, Ian Rappaport, he kind of cleared a lot of stuff up, um, but it also made it a little tiny bit murky. and gave us a tiny, tiny bit of hope, but let's talk about it. Ian Rappaport said, Ravens Pro Bowl tight end Mark Andrews has suffered a cracked fibula and an ankle ligament injury, sources said after the MRI. It's still believed to be a long-term injury, as the team said. So that's, yeah, that's not good. So team is saying, long-term injury so it's only six games left in the season six games is not long term long term is like <laughs> the season probably so that would make you feel like oh that's a wrap like it's it's probably gonna be it for him uh this year but small tiny 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 a bit of hope that we have tiny bit um the this next part he said uh baltimore will consult with dr robert anderson in charlotte next week for more Info. So, somebody from Team Keep It Clean, they brought out a really good point. Again, it's a tiny, tiny bit of hope that we have that he can possibly maybe come back. Not expecting it, though. But somebody said if he's getting a second opinion, then maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a small chance. Now, again, we, we're not counting on that chance because, yeah, when you hear, like, all that stuff listed... Uh, a, a cracked fibula, ankle ligament injury, it, it just all sounds really bad. It all sounds really bad. Um, so I'm expecting Mark Andrews to be out. And if, again, with Harbaugh saying what he said, then I don't expect him to be back. But what are Baltimore Ravens options? What, what, what can they do from here? Who can they go to for help? Well, 
We're going to discuss that, but before we get into that, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Here at Team Keep It Clean, we talk about football players and NFL executives on a daily basis. We go over the games that are played and the business moves that are made. But one thing we have to always remember is that these are real people too. And with them being real people, they face real problems. Obviously physically, but mentally as well just like us. But some may think with them being professionals that only they have access to professional therapists when it comes to mental health. But that's not the case. If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, there's a way for you to get assistance. That's where BetterHelp comes into play. To visit their website, go to betterhelp.com slash engravenvids. BetterHelp can connect you with licensed therapists who are trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. You can have your therapy sessions on a phone call, a video chat, or even via messaging if that's what you prefer. Whatever you're most comfortable with. And to get started is simple. Just fill out a questionnaire that helps assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with your therapist in most cases in 48 hours or less. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash engravenvids. Clicking that link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp so you can connect with the therapist and see if it helps you. So with Mark Andrews out, uh, the Ravens have to look at other options to fill his void and with Mark Andrews, we can't expect anybody to replace Mark Andrews because that is Mark Andrews one of the best offensive players on the team one of the best tight ends just not only just on the team but in the entire NFL uh, so that's going to be hard to fill his shoes and we can't ask anybody to necessarily fill his shoes but they can strap up their own uh, so that where Isaiah Likely and Charlie Cola will come into play now with Isaiah Likely we know his best moments have come unfortunately uh, when Mark Andrews has been out and something that my guy Kevin Ostriker just speaking of him earlier something that he brought out Mark Andrews in his entire career with the Baltimore Ravens has missed six games six that's it six games this guy is never out, man. Mark Andrews is never out. Six games, that's it? Like, that's nothing. So he is somebody that has just always been reliable, always been there, always shows up no matter what's going on. He's playing. Uh, so this is the most catastrophic injury that he's had uh, as a Baltimore Raven in his professional career. So it's unfortunate, but now a lot will be placed on other people. So Isaiah Likely and Charlie Kohler, um, they are going to have to really step it up. Now, Isaiah Likely, he's somebody, remember in the preseason last year, he showed a lot of promise. And then in games with Mark Andrews didn't play, he, he showed that promise again. Uh, but with Isaiah Likely, now it's just a matter of just making it happen. It's a matter of Lamar uh, finding him, Lamar getting him the ball and getting him involved uh, and, and them really making it happen because the potential with Isaiah likely is there. So hopefully this can be one of those scenarios where we know about the potential, we've seen the potential, but the potential hasn't been reached yet. But now with these next six games that remain and then, of course, the playoffs and everything that comes after that, and hopefully they will be playing after that too, um, that hopefully the Ravens can reach into Isaiah likely and pull out that potential uh, all the way and he can just be amazing and we can be thoroughly impressed uh, with Isaiah likely but then there's Charlie Kolar too there's him as well who he has been a, a good blocking tight end but now it's time to possibly get him more involved uh, in the passing game as well because he is certainly going to be on that field a lot more than he had been before with Mark Andrews being out so those are two options now another option you have which somebody that I was extremely surprised that they stayed and remained on the practice squad after this preseason is Travis Vokalek now we know what Travis Vokalek he was balling in the preseason, and I, I never thought he was going to make the team. I'm like, Ravens, they ain't carrying no four tight ends. Uh, they they probably put him on a practice squad, but he'll probably get taken off by somebody like the Patriots. I figured he would go somewhere like there, but no, no, he's stuck around, and he's still there. Now, I don't anticipate the Baltimore Ravens going to an undrafted rookie free agent tight end to be that third guy. It's a possibility. I mean, look at Keaton Mitchell, but he made the active roster. Travis Vokalek didn't. So would they do that? Uh, I don't think so. I think they'll keep him on a practice squad. Uh, but then you got another option like Eric Tomlinson, who they just recently released. So they, may they, maybe they bring him back. Maybe they say, hey, big head, what you doing? Are you busy? So maybe he may return to the team. So that's a, a possibility. Now, um, <clears throat> some people, you know, you know us Ravens fans, like we – We'll be willing to check in on any and everybody. Uh, I saw some Raven fans say, hey, they should hit up Gronk. 
they should hit up Gronk, see what Gronk doing. Tell him, hey, you're doing all them podcasts and stuff with, with, with Kay Adams and whatnot. Come to the Ravens. But Gronk said, I, I think the only way that he would possibly come to the Ravens is if Brady was there. And Brady ain't there, so I don't think Gronk is coming. Um, but they got some options. Now, somebody else who could help fill the void of a Mark Andrews is the wide receivers. The wide receivers. Now, we know Mark Andrews, of course, is a tight end. Um, but the wide receivers, they're pass catchers, too. So with them being pass catchers, I think they'll be relied on more heavily. Um, and the Ravens, they are in a good position, especially because this year uh, it hasn't, as we've already seen with Mark Andrews when he plays, it hasn't been Mark Andrews or bust like it had been in previous years with the passing game. Because we know in previous years, if Mark Andrews uh, was not, excuse me, if Mark Andrews was playing uh, and teams were like taking him out the game, oh, that would just take the Ravens out. That would take the Ravens out. Uh, but now Ravens are much better equipped uh, to go to other areas as they have uh, throughout this year. So more will be on Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman. And I'm sure they, of course, don't mind. You would have rather Mark Andrews be out there for sure, but I'm sure they won't mind uh, their plates becoming even bigger. Uh, getting more put on their plate So that, that should be um, interesting to see how the Baltimore Ravens handle it But it, it is going to be a, a tough task But it is a task that they can take care of So this was, um, I remember I had went on uh, Bobby Trotted on his stream yesterday And he had been talking to Spencer Schultz And Spencer Schultz talked about how this is going to be a big opportunity for the Baltimore Ravens for growth and it is. It's going to be a big opportunity for growth. And I mean, speaking of Spencer Schultz, I remember um, it, it was cool when I was talking to him um, and he was just giving me his uh, the he was giving me the breakdown of how he first met uh, his girlfriend. And that is just a, a, a crazy story. I, I, I'm going to let him save it. Maybe he'll tell it on his podcast one day or something like that. But anyway, um, and what he said is true, though. The, this is a big Raven's going to have to grow because. Now you lost one of your best guys. You lost one of your best weapons on the team. Uh, so now what do you do? You got to take another step forward in this offense. So it's going to be Monkey stepping up. It's going to be Lamar Jackson stepping up. It's going to be the receiver stepping up. It's going to be the tight end stepping up. Everybody is going to have to take a huge step forward uh, to get this thing done. But they can.